Hello everybody, so today we're going to do a MATLAB tutorial of how to generate Fibonacci numbers using MATLAB from scratch. So if you're not familiar, uh, Fibonacci numbers, or the Fibonacci sequence, the sequence of numbers um, starting with 0 and 1, where every number in the sequence is the sum of the previous two numbers. So the sum of 0 and 1 is 1, the sum of 1 and 1 is 2, 3, 5, 8, and that can continue until infinity. So this is pretty easy to generate using MATLAB. Um, it's actually a good test of using for loops and it's a pretty um, simple thing to do if you know how to do it efficiently. So the first two things we're going to do, we're going to clear and CLC in our script and those are going to clear the command window and clear the workspace. Not absolutely necessary, but pretty good practice. So the next thing we want to do is, as we mentioned previously, Fibonacci sequence is infinite. Um, it's an infinite sequence of numbers, so there's no, we can't just generate the Fibonacci sequence. It would, uh, it's, in it's infinite. So the first thing we want to do is we want to ask the user how many terms they want in the sequence, greater than two, because the first two are already defined. So we're going to define a variable n, and we're going to use the input function to prompt the user, and we're going to say number of terms, and then we'll just say greater than two, because it has to be greater than two. So that's going to ask the user for the number of terms and they want in the sequence and store it in the variable n. The next thing we want to do is define our Fibonacci uh, vector, and that's where we're going to actually store the numbers we generate and return to the user. So we're going to define a uh, vector called fib, and we're going to define the first two terms as 0 and 1, because like we talked about, no matter what we, how many terms we generate, the first two numbers have to be 0 and 1. That's by definition. So now we're going to use a for loop. So um, we're going to say for, and we're going to define an index variable i. So for i is equal to 3, 2n. So that's basically going to iterate i in integers from 3, because remember the input has to be greater than 2, so at the minimum 3. So from 3 to n in, in, in every integer. So if n is 5, it's going to go 3, 4, 5. So what we're going to do with that is we're going to access the Fibonacci vector, and we're going to say the ith term of the vector is going to be equal to the i minus 1 term plus the i minus 2 term. And that's a valid statement in MATLAB. So it's going to define the ith term of the vector as the sum of the previous two terms. And we'll write end. And that will generate n terms in the uh, sequence. And then finally, we'll return the entire generated vector to the user by just writing fib. So it's a pretty simple way to do this. We can test it out. If we run it, we want five terms it'll return five terms. So one, two, three, four, five, and yep, this is sum of zero and one is one, sum of one and one is two, sum of one and two is three. And just to test it out again, we'll say, this time we'll say 15 terms, and we get, and we can verify that all these terms are indeed Fibonacci numbers. Um, it's a pretty simple thing to do in MATLAB, I just wanted to make this tutorial. Um, I think this is a pretty efficient way to do it, uh, but if there's any concerns, any questions, please leave them in the comments and I'll get back to you.